Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the recurrent laryngeal nerves. We have two recurrent laryngeal nerves, left recurrent laryngeal nerve and right recurrent laryngeal nerves. These are branches of the vagus nerves. And the right recurrent laryngeal nerve is shorter and it turns around the right subclavian artery. The left recurrent laryngeal nerve is longer and it turns around the arch of the aorta and the ligamentum arteriosum or ductus arteriosus in the intrauterine life. Okay, so we got the left vagus nerve, left vagus nerve is this, this is the right vagus nerve, right vagus nerve and this is our right recurrent laryngeal nerve, right recurrent laryngeal nerve recurrent laryngeal nerve laryngeal nerve so this is the right recurrent laryngeal nerve is this and this turning around the right subclavian artery this is the right subclavian artery The recurrent laryngeal nerve has recurrent course around the right subclavian artery here. It goes behind the subclavian artery and the right common carotid artery. It goes to the tracheoesophageal group. It goes to the larynx. In its passage, it is closely related to the inferior thyroid artery then it is passing deep to the cricopharyngeus muscle the lower part of the inferior constrictor muscle it reaches the junction between the cricoid cartilage and thyroid cartilage and then it enters the larynx that is the course on the right side left side left vagus nerve and this is our left recurrent laryngeal nerve is here Okay, there is a branch of the left vagus nerve that turn around the, this is the ligamentum arteriosum in the adult, in the, in the intrauterine life, it was the ductus arteriosus. So this is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve, left recurrent laryngeal nerve. And this is the ligamentum arteriosum. Now, in the intrauterine life, it was the ductus arteriosus. Okay, this green color is the ductus arteriosus during intrauterine li life. After birth, it becomes the the ligamentum arteriosum. Ligamentum arteriosum. This is our arch of the aorta here. This is the arch of the aorta, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. This is the brachiocephalic trunk. This is the right subclavian artery. This is the right common carotid artery. Recurrent laryngeal laryngeal null a turn around or hook around turns around the right subclavian artery subclavian artery okay this is that this is the right recurrent laryngeal nerve it turning around the right subclavian artery passes behind the 
right subclavian artery, right subclavian artery, and right common carotid artery, and right common carotid artery. Okay, related to the inferior thyroid artery, related to the inferior thyroid artery, and then passes beneath the Cricopharyngeus muscle. There is a lower part of the inferior constrictor, cricopharyngeus yes, muscle. Okay. Cricopharyngeus muscle and enters the larynx. posterior to the cricothyroid joint, cricothyroid junction, cricothyroid joint, okay. We got the course of the right recurrent laryngeal nerve. It turns, it turns around the right subclavian artery here this is the right recurrent laryngeal nerve passes behind the right subclavian artery passes behind the right common carotid artery goes to the tracheoesophageal groove okay then it is related to the inferior thyroid artery and it is passing be beneath the the inferior constrictor it is called cricopharyngeus muscle lower part of the inferior constrictor passes behind the cricothyroid joint and enters the larynx. It is the course of the right recurrent laryngeal nerve. How about left recurrent laryngeal nerve? That turns around the arch of the aorta because it is, it starts on the left side of the arch of the aorta, lower, lower part of the arch of the aorta. Okay, arch of the aorta and the and the ductus arteriosus that is the that will become the ligamentum arteriosum after birth okay so that will be the ligamentum arteriosum after birth arteriosum Okay, then it passes behind the arch of the aorta and it passes behind the arch of the aorta, passes behind the arch of the aorta and it reaches the tracheoesophageal groove. This area is the tracheoesophageal groove tracheoesophageal group. Okay, if this is the esophagus, this is the trachea, Esoph tracheoesophageal group is here. Okay, so it passes behind the arch of the aorta, okay, and enters the tracheoesophageal group, okay, ascends through the tracheoesophageal group like that of the this is a tracheoesophageal group also here tracheoesophageal group on the on the left side group okay then it is related to the it passes beneath the passes beneath the cricopharyngeus muscle passes beneath the cricopharyngeus muscle 
enters the larynx posterior to the cricothyroid joint. So it is forming at the lower level. This is forming at the upper level. Why this happen? Okay. So it happens because here we have the ductus arteriosus that is formed from the distal part of the sixth aortic arch ductus arteriosus okay is formed from from sixth aortic arch aortic arch okay this is on the left side left side okay so that's why it is turning around the ductus arteriosus okay this is not present on the right side so on the right side there is no ductus arteriosus there is no distal part of the of the sixth aortic arch so right side it is turning around the right subclavian artery because the fifth aortic arch is missing in both sides there is no fifth aortic arch it, it will disappear very soon that's the reason the right recurrent laryngeal nerve location is beginning is above than that of the left recurrent laryngeal nerve that is the embryological basis now we go structures innervated by structures innervated by the innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerve laryngeal nerves okay this uh, is because it passes between trachea and esophagus so they will get innervation trachea esophagus esophagus and close to its beginning it also contribute in the deep cardiac plexus contribute in the deep cardiac cardiac plexus okay we got that the deep cardiac plexus then it will also innervate the inferior constrictor lower part we call it crico crico pharyngeus there is the lower part of the inferior constrictor we got that now it innervates all the intrinsic muscles of the larynx all the intrinsic muscles of the larynx except the cricothyroid cricothyroid okay so it innervates all the intrinsic muscle inside the larynx okay except the cricothyroid the cricothyroid is innervated by the external laryngeal nerve that is not innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerve okay we got that now it is this is the motor how about sensory sensory innervation from the from the from below the actually sensory innervation it pick up sensory innervation from the interior of the larynx from the interior of the larynx below the vocal cord below the vocal cord okay now who innervate the inside the larynx above the vocal cord that is the internal laryngeal nerve the recurrent laryngeal, laryngeal nerve innervates the part of the larynx inside below the vocal cord vocal cords okay. 
we got the, the structures innervated by the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Now we go to the to some clinical anatomy. Okay. So clinical anatomy we learn that clinical anatomy. Okay. If the recurrent laryngeal nerve is damaged, then there will be hoarseness of voice. Hoarseness of voice due to unilateral unilateral damage to the damage to the recurrent laryngeal nerve okay recurrent laryngeal laryngeal nerve okay this may happen due to surgery or trauma okay especially in big goiter surgery sometimes this may happen okay so that is hoarseness of voice because one vocal cord is not working so there is no vibration so there is no, no phonation so hoarseness of voice phonation will be disturbed so we call it hoarseness of voice but as the time passes other side will hypertrophy and may compensate okay this one or we might have dyspnea if bilateral damage happen to the recurrent laryngeal nerves. That is possible to vocal cord may block the airway passes so there will be difficulty in breathing there will be deep sneer. so that's all about the anatomy of the recurrent laryngeal nerve if you like my video please support my channel please subscribe me and share the information with your friends have a nice day bye now